I will just say a few words so to, uh, to thank all of you who have come here today for this training course. Uh, it's a big pleasure for us to see that so many uh, came here. Uh, we had lots of applications, so uh, I think we had more than 220 applications, uh, out of which 90 were selected. So uh, you are uh, top, top uh, training course students here. So this is the, now the, the ninth uh, advanced land training course that we are organizing uh, in ISA, or from ISA. Uh, before it has been, at, at the first it was not every year, then it became every year. It was always a, a land uh, training course which was general for all different applications related to, uh, to the terrestrial part of the Earth. And uh, now, this year, for the first time, we are focusing on, uh, on one particular application or domain, which is the agriculture. So, uh, I will stop there and just uh, wish you wel welcome to this training course. And I will go give the word to uh, my colleague Magdalena, who will explain a bit more about logistics, the agenda, etc. Okay. Do you hear me? Yes? Okay. Um, welcome, everybody. My name is Magdalena Fietschuk. I'm working with uh, my colleague Espen in ESRIN, in uh, European Space Agency in uh, Italy. Uh, so, first of all, a few words about why we are organizing this kind of trainings. Um, first of all, so we are organizing this training, but this is not the only advanced, run, uh, advanced training that we are organizing. There are also other advanced trainings on other applications, atmosphere, ocean, etc. Uh, so why we are organizing these uh, trainings? First of all, because this is one of the actions in the ESA Earth Observation Envelope Program. So this is something that all the member states of ESA are um, contributing to. Um, and this money that they contribute can be uh, used in this way. So we are organizing these nice trainings for especially uh, to, to train the next generation of scientists, professionals, uh, remote sensing, professional in remote sensing, not only for land, as I said before, um, but also in other areas. And this time we are focusing on you, specialists in agriculture. Um, we want not only to, to explain you the theor uh, theoretical principles, processing algorithms, and uh, talk about the data, but also we want to introduce uh, tools and methods for, for the exploitation of the data. So we have not only uh, lectures, but also a lot of practical exercises. Uh, and all of this is done to stimulate and, and support exploitation of Earth observation data, this time for agriculture and also uh, operational application. So we will use here also the Send to Agri system, which is one of the uh, ESA projects that we had with University uh, Louvain, and also food security thematic exploitation platform that will be introduced during the week. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Mm. Yes. So these are the pre previous editions. We had eight uh, previous editions. The first one was in 2007 in Lisbon, then in Prague, as you see, as Espen said, also uh, every two years. Then there was one in Krakow, in Athens, in Valencia, Bucharest, Godolo in, in Hungary, and last year we had one in Leicester. Uh, who is behind the course? So the main organizing committee is uh, us, European Space Agency, and Collaboration with, in collaboration with the University uh, of Louvain. And the partner of this training is uh, BELSPO, so Belgian Federal Science Policy Office, that we will have soon presentation. Uh, but behind the course, of course, it's us, the organizers, but mostly I would like to acknowledge all the lecturers that we will uh, host this, uh, this uh, week, during this week. 
professors from uh, European universities, um, many people from this university, specialists on, on agriculture. And now some statistics. So we had 227 applications in total. We have selected 94 participants from people with uh, uh, affiliations from 35 countries. So you see that diversity here is very, it's, uh, it's very nice. And these people are from 40 nationalities. And this year is also very special for us because usually these courses are organized for students, postdocs, um, research scientists. But this year, we have also here participants who are experts from national and international agencies related to agriculture and food security. So we have 73 students, PhD students, um, postdoctoral research scientists, and 21 experts from national and international agencies. This is, uh, of course, very nice for us to, to have uh, the experts here, but also for students and, and, and researchers. Uh, this is very important to see that these applications, the thing that we do here, we want to show you, are really used in practice. And you can also uh, make use of these new contacts with, um, with the, the experts. So this is it. And now a bit of uh, logistics about the course. So this website you already know, I'm sure. And if, you, if we have any changes in the program, but I don't foresee any, hopefully, um, you can always relate to this website and also for materials. So materials will be published afterwards. You all signed uh, the disclaimer at the beginning for the videos uh, recording. Uh, so this year we are recording all the lectures. Practical exercises, no, but lectures, yes. So these materials will be available uh, on our website after the course. Uh, if you want to search for other trainings or other opportunities, so also some invitations to tender, workshops and other education activities, you can always relate to our website, eoforsociety.esa.int. And here you see that there is a... Here you can see all the opportunities that uh, we have for you. Um, now a bit about the course overview. So we are here now, the welcome speeches, and um, there is a bit of lectures in the morning as well. So just the context of the, of, the, uh, of the training. Then you see that every morning we have a big block of uh, lectures. So these are the, this is the theory, and in the afternoon, all these orange blocks are exercises, so practical exercises. And the lectures will be here, and the exercises will be in two computer rooms, and then we will show you how to get there. So there are no parallel sessions. Uh, what I mean is that we will have two groups, because we have two computer rooms. So we'll have two groups, and each group will follow the same program. So there is no need to move between rooms. Once you choose the group, you are in the group one, you just follow this group. So you stay in one room, and the next day you come, you come to the same room. We haven't decided yet how to divide you, but maybe before the coffee break or after the coffee break, we will let you know how we are dividing you in, in groups. So you will not miss anything. The only difference is here on Friday, we, uh, you see that there is um, there is a lecture about the novel in situ collection approaches for agriculture EO applications. And in parallel, in the other room, we have an exchange for exploitation of sent to agri uh, question answers based on specific training requests. So this is for all the people who are already working with sent to agri or they would like to work with sent to agri system uh, that you will also learn during this week. And if you have any specific practical questions, this will be the session for you. So this is the only choice you have to do during this week. Otherwise, we decide for you. <laughs> and we have two social events. Uh, so today we have an icebreaker. We have a social dinner on Wednesday. Tomorrow we have poster session. So poster session will be here in the same building. 
and uh, all the other details we will we will uh, let you know also tomorrow tomorrow you have to put on your posters anyway this was in the info note so you should know it already but if you have any questions at the registration desk we will try to to answer and then at the end of the week we have the closing ceremony for some conclusions and delivery of the certificate of attendance and closing so some Last information, for the certificate, uh, certificate of attendance, to get the certificate, we need your attendance, basically. So all the lectures and all the practical exercises are obligatory for you. Um, it's not enough just to pick one lecture and, and then go sightseeing. Uh, however, it would be nice. And this attendance list, that we, have, we will have two attendance lists during the day. So every morning and then afternoon we have this uh, attendance list. And the certificates will be awarded during the closing ceremony, as I said before. For ECTS uh, credits, um, these uh, ECTS credits will be awarded by university uh, on request. So if anybody of you has this need to obtain um, the, the, the certificate of ECDA, ECDS credits, uh, please contact uh, UCL people. They have for us red badges. So you have green badges, we have red badges. And the teachers have blue badges, right? Fabrizio, blue. Okay, so blue. There is also a yellow one for special guests. <laughs> Um, at the end of the week, we will have an uh, evaluation um, questionnaire. It will take you five minutes, ten minutes to, to fill in. It's very important for us to know your feedback, and we are doing this every time after each course to see if we are improving, or maybe there are some, uh, some, some things that we should improve for the next year. So the link to the website, to the questionnaire, will be provided uh, to you by email during the week. It will be more, most probably on, on Thursday. Uh, so on Thursday until Friday you have time to fill this, uh, this uh, questionnaire. And as I said before, all the course material will be available on our website. It should be at the end of September, beginning of October. You should give us some time because we have to also process the, the videos. Uh, but it should be around that, that time. If you want to mention us in the social media, this is the hashtag LTC19 on Twitter. You can tweet some nice posts. We will do it as well. And um, I wish you a pleasant stay and a very fruitful training. If you have any other questions, uh, you can always approach us during this week. Thank you.